Hi, this is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko. You might be keeping a pair of crested geckos or a pair of gargoyle geckos and thinking about expanding that into maybe keeping a dozen different breeding pair. Well, today we're going to talk about the difference between keeping them in an exoterra type of enclosure and keeping them in plastic tubs. We'll talk about those differences and certainly talk about a way of saving, saving you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. We'll go ahead and make a rundown to the facility and take a look at a couple of the tubs that we've set up for our gargoyles. And make sure that you stick around for that pro tip this week. I think you'll find it very helpful. I want to make it very clear that this is a choice of the hobbyist whether they keep uh, animals in naturalistic enclosures or keep them in plastic tubs. There's always going to be some debate around that. I actually keep them in both. I have more species of animals in naturalistic setups than I do plastic tubs, but there are certain advantages of using plastic tubs, and we'll talk about that in a little bit when we go down to the facility and take a look at the tubs themselves. What we're going to focus though on in this video is saving you money if you're thinking about set, setting up multiple pairs of animals. So let's make a run down to the facility and look at one of my racks for uh, keeping gargoyle geckos. And we're back in the facility. You've seen me standing in front of these uh, enclosures. These are my gargoyle geckos. I have 15 pairs set up in this uh, setup. Let me go ahead and show you the rack. And here you can see the whole rack. Three rows, five enclosures on each row. I have some storage uh, down below. And each container holds at least one female and most of them hold a male, but I do switch back and forth uh, some males. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the enclosures and uh, we'll see what's in it. Okay, here's the enclosure. It's a 30 gallon, 113 liter enclosure. Um, I would suggest uh, for gargoyle gecko pairs, at least something very similar to this size. So as you can see, Here's the pair, male on the left and female on the right. So if I can get a little bit closer to them. And I'll back up and take a look at the uh, enclosure a little bit before they jump out. You can see the hide on the right, mealworm dish on the uh, bottom of the, uh, or to the bottom of the hide. I have a little hiding place for the uh, gargoyles on the bottom. Some plants big piece of cork bark, and a couple of these, uh, these tubes. Let's go ahead and close this enclosure up, and we're going to start talking about the cost of setting up a rack like this. So let's go ahead and talk about numbers. And again, this is a way for you to save a bunch of money on se between setting up exoterras and setting up tubs. And again, this discussion, or this video isn't anything at all to do about making that choice between a naturalistic in, uh, setup or a tub setup. This is just how I uh, manage our facility and set up pairs in breeding situations. As you saw from that rack, we have two different racks, both made of the two by twos, one holding uh, two uh, columns and one holding three columns. Again, five uh, enclosures on each row and three rows. The numbers that we're going to look at in a minute are based on about 15 enclosures, so 15 uh, exoterras compared to 15 tubs. Included in the exoterras, of course, you'll need some kind of a racking system, so we'll include that in our cost comparison. On the other side, for the tubs, we'll do a comparison using the tub cost, uh, the 2x2 cost, the wood, and the screws and some screening for the holes for ventilation. Any of the interior decor will be completely left out of this conversation. So let's go ahead and jump over to the chart that I prepared and let's take a look at those costs. I've set up the costs for the exoterras, the 15 exoterras on the left and the 15 tubs on the right. So with the exoterras, you have the exoterra cost, of course, and looking around the internet, I came up with a price of about $100 per uh, enclosure and the price were two racks, and that came to about, on an average, $125. So the total cost for exoterras, or any glass enclosure like this, it comes to 
$1,750. Looking at the right side, we have the cost for the tubs and there's a lot of different prices out there. I used a price of about $14 per tub for this comparison. You can see the cost for the two by twos and you can see the cost for miscellaneous uh, supplies. When we add all this up for the tubs, we come up with under $300 to set up 15 enclosures. How hard is it to set up those uh, racks for the, the tubs? It's very, very simple. Take the measurements, uh, understand your space requirements or space limitations, take the measurements, uh, plan it out accordingly, cut the wood, screw them in with the screws. There's not a whole lot of weight on this rack system, so the 2x2s will be just perfect for this uh, setup. I would estimate, including a trip to the home improvement store, the time to set up a wooden rack would take about two to three hours. So let's go ahead and talk about a pro tip at this point. In the enclosure, I'm sure you saw one thing that really caught your eye, and that's those ledges or, or branches made out of these pool noodles. They're really super easy to make. Uh, they cost almost nothing. I think this was uh, $3 for about an eight foot section. Easy to cut with a, a razor. And I also use these for our day gecko enclosures. Uh, they hang horizontally and the day geckos uh, love to perch on these ledges right by the lights. To summarize on a couple of points, let me reiterate that most of our spe most of the species that we keep at Supreme Gecko are kept in naturalistic enclosures, 10 gallon tanks, 15 gallon tanks, 20 highs, uh, exoterras or other glass enclosures. But we do keep some species, uh, some breeding pairs like crested geckos and gargoyles in tub setups. It works for us, it might not work for you. You have to make that choice yourself. It's not an easy choice and one that you really have to think about what works for you. Hopefully what this video has done is showed you a comparison between setting up a glass enclosure rack system with about 15 enclosures or setting up a tub system. Again, tubs work for us and it certainly saves a ton of money. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you next week on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.